Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can install an additional livery for the PMDG 737700. So, my favorite site, Flight Simulator 2, contains already a special section for the aircraft. So, if you go to liveries uh, and then go to the Boeing, you will find the PMDG Boeing 737700. And there you will find all the liveries which are created by the community, right? So, these are free add-ons which you can simply freely download and then install. So the first thing we need to do is, of course, select a livery which we which we would like to install, right? So you can, uh, for example, select the Red Bull livery uh, or select a uh, Transavia livery. Well, let's select this one, right? Transavia Dutch airliner. So we can press uh, download and then it will show me the prompt. And I need to, let's say, approve it, right? So let's wait and then download this aircraft or this livery for the aircraft. So simply click on start download, it will download it, uh, depending on your internet speed, it might take a little bit uh, longer as expected. So once you've done that, you will find a PTP file. So you need to extract it to zip, and I do it in my downloads folder, that's the default folder. Uh, and, and then we need to install it, because the, I would say, file format might be different than the one you expected, right? Normally... When you extract a livery, it will, I'd say, extract multiple full, uh, files or folders and uh, you put it into the community folder or flight simulator and then it will work. However, for the PMDG, as well as for several other aircrafts of uh, PMDG, you need to do it a different way. So now we extracted it, we can go back to the PMDG operation center because that's the heart of how you can install, update, remove, etc all the PNG DG products, but also install additional liveries, right? So you can go to uh, liveries. Uh, there you will find all the liveries. I just showed them already, right? So you can go to the different uh, variants. Uh, it sometimes takes a while before it's being uh, opened. Uh, we will see all of them. But the question, of course, is how can you install that custom one? Well, on the bottom, you will find the livery utility i'm zooming in because that's easier for you to see so you go to air aircraft and liveries then you select livery utilities and from that list you will uh, see a lot of things for example what you can do is export or remove installed liveries right so you can select the aircraft in this case i'm going to select the pmdg uh, 737 and then if i select the 700 i will show all the liveries which are installed if i want to remove it i can easily remove it here by uh, clicking it and then going on the right side uh, that's here click on remove and then it will be removed of course the i would say default deliveries can also be removed using the uh, normal menu so what we need to do in this case is we need to import a ppt or ptp <laughs> so you can go into the left right uh, left corner and then select import ptp and that will open a window right as you can please see and then we go to the downloads folder and then go to the transavia one and then select it then it will uh say try to import it if it was successful you will get a nice message if you if it fails to import you will of course get a failure uh, and depending on uh, which aircraft type it is in this case it's the transavia right and it's a normal i would say passenger aircraft it will only import it for that variant uh, in some cases the textures are i would say corrupted in that case PMG also has a nice feature you can uh, validate if you're uh, if you have orphan textures and then you can simply press uh, scan now and then repair it and then they will re repair all the issues so again what you need to do is go to the great side of flight sim.2 download delivery which you want to have and then import it using the pmdg command center right so let's do another one to show you again the process so we're going to install the red bull uh, livery right uh, so it will take some time let me see four three two one and there we go click on the download button and then make sure that we can extract it here it is extracted in the folder downloads folder then go back to the pmdg one 
click the install from PTP, go to the folder where you extracted the content and then wait for it to be imported. So relatively easy, only a different method uh, compared to what you might uh, be uh, used to compared to the community deliveries. So here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.